Birthday, darling. How are you? Here you are, sweetheart. Here's your nice flowers. Happy birthday. Yeah, you would hit me with that hammer, huh? Yes, you would. Yes, you would. Come here. Yes, you wanted to hit me with that hammer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, now I know how you really love that. <laughs> now rest in peace. That's the way. Yeah, that's it. But you have very strong toes. Don't yes, you? I do. <laughs> Remind me to move all the hammers out of here. Even if it is your Mother, birthday, you know. Just great. Put them on my side. Yes. Put all right. Come on, because we got to go to the festival. We've got a lot of things. We've got the party to plan. Everything yet today, huh? Gray hairs. Yes, I see the, oh, I see the gray hairs. We'll get them all dyed for you. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Did you 
see the ring I gave me? Yeah, you as well, see, you're looking grand. Not so bad. Simmer down for a minute and uh, make yourself comfortable here because we're going to have a little party. I'd like to make a little announcement. Uh, today is a very special day. And why is it a special day? Well, because it's, uh, it's, uh, Tuesday? Uh -huh. Oh, it's B's birthday, of course you all. Yeah. And, uh, B and I have finally set the date and we're going to get married. Oh! So, um, the thing that I want to tell you about is that this week, it seems that the news leaked out all over town because wherever I went in the bars, everybody was buying me a drink. And uh, I'll never forget it, I walked in the first bar and the guy says, Hey, Al, getting married, huh? Met her mother yet? Well, that's a luck, huh? I'm going to need it. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna take the plunge, huh? <laughs> Buy me a drink. That'll be the last time you did. Sure! Now walk around, Harry. Yeah, they call me the drink. You're gonna, huh? Eh? Oh, boy. Let me give you one word of advice. story is just what the poet Baby Aqua said when he said, Meglio essere ubriaco quando si sposa, which we all know means, you don't have to be drunk to get married, but it helps. <laughs> well, now I'd like to tell you a little story about my friend Bob, who is living in Italy right now. It seems that someone introduced him to this beautiful Italian girl, and she introduced him to Italian coffee. <laughs> and that in itself isn't very easy. <laughs> so it seems that Bob was living at one end of Rome, and the girl was living at the other end of Rome. Well, uh, one night he, he took her out dancing, and they were having a wonderful time and everything, and finally he took her home. And about one, I think it was about 1 30, 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> well, I haven't gotten to the jokes yet. <laughs> Oh, what an audience you guys are, really. Um, so he took a home and she has this big cup of espresso machine. You put coal in one end of it, I guess. <laughs> Wait, I haven't finished yet. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> I've got to the jokes yet. <laughs> and, uh... So, Bob was down there in Italy, and he wrote me this wonderful letter. He said that when he was studying Italian, one day he walked up to this guy, and he said, was trying to explain to him what the verb can sound to think.
to be or not to be. J'ai mal au froid, par au froid, par la rue. C'est blé car on rêvait de vie, c'est où elle. Elle dit pas qu'on est mis à cause de l'île, j'y ai pu.